The overall goal of this experimental procedure is to determine the amount of current that can be conducted through a living material in situ as well as the mechanism employed by the living material to transport the current. This method can help answer key questions in the field of microbial electrochemistry, such as how can certain biofilms move electrons over hundreds of microns to support cellular metabolism? The main advantage of this technique is that the interdigitated electrodes give a very high signal-to-noise ratio and can be scaled to fit into many different reactor configurations. Though this method can provide insight into multi-cell length extracellular electron transport in biofilms, it can also be applied to other systems, such as electrically conductive polymer films. Researchers new to this method will struggle because it requires a bipotentiostat to set the potentials of both electrodes separately and measure current at each electrode separately. To begin, obtain commercially available IDA electrodes patterned on a non-conductive substrate or synthesize them using standard lithographic methods. Prepare conductive silver epoxy according to the manufacturer's instructions with a mixing rod or pipette tip. Then, Place a wire on each gold pad and secure them in place using lab tape. Cover the wire and pad with silver epoxy using a mixing rod or pipette tip. Carefully move the apparatus to an 80 degree Celsius oven for one hour to cure. After the epoxy cures, use a multimeter to ensure electrical connectivity between the end of the wire and the pads.